sexual assault is when a person is forced, coerced, or manipulated into participating in a sexual act in which she, he, or they have not really consented. Sexual assault is all about use of power and control. It is defined by lack of affirmative consent and is a choice made by the perpetrator. The perpetrator relies heavily on societal attitudes about consent and victim blaming to target vulnerable victims. According to Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, aka RAIN, an American is sexually assaulted every 73 seconds. And for every 1,000 rapes in the United States, 995 perpetrators will go free. Only five will actually see prison time. Also, eight out of every 10 rapes, the victim knew the perpetrator. One in six women and one in 33 men will experience sexual assault in their lifetime. Reported by the Department of Justice in 2019, over 1.5 million women were raped by their intimate partner. Rape has seen a 22% increase in monthly calls from youth under age of 18. The abuse is increasing in frequency and severity because of COVID-19 and the restrictions of remaining quarantined with their abusers. Legal job site comments on male rape statistics and shows us that most perpetrators of male sexual assault are men. These perpetrators choose to rape both gay and straight men because rape is an act of aggression and domination, not of sexual desire. The National Sexual Violence Resource Center, NSRBC, states sexual assault that have been filed and reported only 2 to 10 percent have come back as false claims. The NSRBC also acknowledges sexual violence as a trauma to the body with immediate and ongoing physical, mental, and spiritual impacts many of which have been magnified by survivors in the midst of the global COVID-19 pandemic. The United Nations News reported that the pandemic hinders processing of reporting of incidents of sexual assaults and risks deprioritizing services needed by survivors such as shelters, healthcare services, law enforcement, and criminal justice sectors. The media points out that sexual assault survivors need people and practices that can empower them to navigate the enormous ocean of trauma recovery. To support someone who has been a victim of sexual assault, you must be empathetic in your responses. Let the survivor make their own decisions and get them connected with advocates from agencies that specialize in sexual assault. No hurt. Remember that no one deserves to be abused or taken advantage of by anyone. Consenting to sex should always be willing, specific, enthusiastic, informed, and mutual. Consent is never persistent, pressured, or manipulated.